Hanukkah time, time is here. here. What a treat. Like, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to wish, wish, wish you well. well. Kiss and tell. Yeah. I wish you yes. well. A butterfly. Uh, I'll um, take your wife now, and then I'll take my life and see. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale. And with me this week, it is a Hanukkah miracle. Yes. Two of my favorite people. They are the hosts of the Dumb People Town podcast, TV, films, all over, uh, ESPN. Yeah. How, how bro is that? I mean, it's pretty bro. Pretty bro. I mean, bro pretty bro. I, pretty bro. <laughs> Randy and Jason Sklar, also known as the Sklar Brothers. Hello. Oh, what's up? Good to be you? here. It is so much fun to have so you guys good here. It's a blast. Here. I love, love seeing, seeing you. you, period, wow. in this place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, every time we see you here backstage, we walk in the back room. If you're back there, it makes us happy. It's like it's a good night because half the thing is doing your set and then half the thing is hanging out with your friends who are here. Yeah. And there are those people, you know, there are those people that are great comics. Sometimes they're not a great hang. And you yeah. see people that are a great hang and you're like, oh my God, this is going to be fun. This is going to be easy gonna be and fun. should be fun. Yes. Yeah, period. I agree. And you guys are are very much top of my list. It's oh, always yeah. a good time Thank with you, you guys. Thank You've been you. very nice to me. Been on your podcast twice. True. Amazing. True. Which so good. I feel like your podcast is very much finding the weird stories yep. that are going on around the country, yes. preferably Florida. I mean, Florida. mostly come from Florida, yeah. and they just are like the dumb that is happening. Like the dumb tidal wave that is now... It's. I feel like once the ice caps melted, it allowed the dumb. IQ rates are going down. O ocean, ocean levels, levels are rise, going up. So does the stupidity in this yeah. world. Right. And which hopefully flood will ensue yes. to wash the away, dumb away. The dumb. And just carry all the trailers out there. Like, yeah. Smart people, though, are not having kids. They're definitely waiting and they're being like, do dumb I people are like, Let's have a fifth. Let's bang them out. Let's have a <laughs> bang them out. So it's like this that, is what oh, we're supposed to do, y'all. Yeah. Uh, over time, I mean, that's what Jeez. the gene pool is going to be. Exactly. So idiocracy. idiocracy. <laughs> well, idiots are everywhere, mm -hmm. um, and you know this. This podcast will find you know some idiotic moments in pop culture. We'll also Great. find some Great. some stories that were just kind of like, huh? Right. And um, so I'm very glad that you guys are here. So happy Thrilled. to be here um, and just be able this, to riff with you. This is weirdly enough the Hanukkah episode. God damn right it is. <laughs> Hanukkah time, time oh. is here. What a treat! I don't I don't know is that, that it? Yeah. <laughs> That's there for all the your. Jeers. I'm just picturing Socks myself dressed as a dreidel child. <laughs> spinning in the wind. We Sorry. can't figure Ooh. out what to get the kids for night, night, and seven and eight. I don't yeah, know. it's horrible. It's horrible. Once you get to like night four or five, you're like, this is over, man. We can't <laughs> just give them anymore. money, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. money or just like their lunch for the next day at school. Keep them alive. I mean, just how about my approval? Isn't that there a gift enough go. for you? Yeah, my, damn it. I'm throwing my support in your stocking. Well, you you both have kids, right? Yes, yeah. How how old are the ages? I have a. Uh, basically a 10 year old and a 15 year old and he Ooh. and Randy has uh, mine are older I have a 16 and an 18 year old so oh, I have a wow. daughter who's in college and yeah, she's the 18 I know, yeah I know That's not like, even why a do I have to do eight nights wait where Missouri uh, University of Michigan Michigan I know yeah. there's an M there's an M we're from Missouri yeah she's St. Louis St. Louis Missouri she's in the University of Michigan very proud of her and she's coming back next Saturday so we do get her during Hanukkah during Hanukkah times yeah and uh, you got tuition for Hanukkah there you go yeah yeah, yeah. that's what that's what I'm dad like, why are you putting together a list what kind of a there's list no list together? yeah there can't be a list the list is over How about the list of things you're gonna take off my plate Huh? Yeah, yeah. The list yeah. does we'll not be exist. Right back. Just yeah, kidding. Yeah. Exactly. Now, um, is there any like traditional Hanukkah things you guys do? Yes, or? light the menorah. That's okay. always fun. Sing a couple of Hebrew we eat songs. Latkes. Eat latkes. They make these potato latkes. Like Manischewitz makes a potato latke mix that you mix a little egg in. Oh, you eat that? Oh, I love it. Trader Joe's makes a good really uh, makes yeah. a good latke. All right, they well, just whatever. Do. They I go old do. school, man. Yeah, you're like making recipes. You're like, like just I put it in the air it fryer. Up. Heat it up, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is my motto. That is our Hanukkah motto. Heat it up, bitch. It is fun. I mean, I. so the truth is we never grew up with a Christmas tree ever in our house. Like we were like the Jews who are like, 
the other Jews who had Christmas trees, we made fun of them. Like there was a reform synagogue in St. Louis called Cher Emeth. That was the reform. Reform is like the lowest level. Conservative is not like conservative in terms of politics. It's like a little bit more observant. Orthodox is the the big, and then like Hasidic is black coat, black hat. Fairfax. Right. Fairfax. So those are the way. But reform is pretty low level. So there was a reform synagogue called Sheremeth and they would have like shorter services. A lot would be in English. It would be really explained. There's like not a lot very, of guitars, not a, not, not oh. a lot of tradition and whatnot. And our dad used to call it St. Emma, which I wow. thought was kind yeah. of funny being like, this is what it, so that was our attitude. And then now when I got, Christmas yeah, tree. when I got married, my wife who was Jewish, but like her parents kind of for various reasons, they were like, hey, we celebrate Christmas. So she had a tree in her house her whole time. So I was like, I guess this is what we're going to do. I didn't want to take that tradition away from her. I thought that'd be a dicky move, even though we were, that's just not what we did. And so yeah. we have a tree in our house. We like put the tree up yesterday. Oh, you did. So that's fair. Like that's a, a winter, little late. It's like a winter tree. Yeah, it's a winter tree. And right. at the end of the day, it's like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? At the, it's all going to be a Christmas whore at the end of December. Thank you. On the sidewalk. Thank you. Shamed that's and right. shunned. And Just, one shoe on. I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, how is there not, how is Disney Pixar not picked up a family of trees that live yes. in the woods that's and then right. all of a sudden they get cut down right. and then they got spread out into, you know, other people's homes to bring light and love yes. and then they all get shamed at the end. They, right? <laughs> that sidewalk. is the shame. The sidewalk. Christmas tree sluts. <laughs> that's that's what they are. They're all on the sidewalk just like, remember what I did? Remember, remember when I was dressed away? up nice. Remember when we were all lit yeah. up? <laughs> Do you remember when you watered me and now I'm just here? And I'm not a big real tree person. I just... Just for the yeah. line of just... Uh, we, ours is fake. Ours yeah. is a fake tree. But just for just the line... Just like LA. Just yeah. for the line in the movie where a dog goes and poops next to the tree that's like laying down and the mother tree says to the father tree, looks like someone just left a present under you again. Oh, God. That's, snap. Right? Perfect. But I then mean, the poop sprouts eyes and it's like I'll be guys. your friend. <laughs> yeah. and it's like, I love oh. Christmas too. Yeah. And it's I'm a Christmas Hank poo. The Christmas yeah. 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 Now we're and back we brought it back around. Brought South it back. Park. Circled back. And Pixar, back. you're welcome. Mm-hmm. Um I was going to say that uh, I'm from Texas, and as a kid, we had Christmas pageants. Oh, yeah. And Come on. Oof. I'm I, here for that. I it like was that. It was a great, I had- For boys and girls? For boys and girls. You I sing had, a song. We have, okay, the first one, this one, I'm really hoping- Swimsuit competition. Swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> we have Justin Damn. Martindale in a bikini. Hey, like, man, it's man, a very man, tasteful man, one man, piece. Man. <laughs> What's up, you Christmas bitches? You guys <laughs> looking for a Scrooge? Um, <laughs> I'm the ghost of your future. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, no, but my kindergarten one, this is actually really fun because I remember- talking to my parents and being like, you know, what did you know that I was gay? And they were just like, well... <laughs> you crushed those pageants. <laughs> you crushed you crushed a Christmas pageant. And I really want to find... I, I need a DVD need to, player I, for Christmas. Oh, my God. So that you can... like Because my, my dad put all of his... V, my dad was a VHS dad. And so he, he recorded everything. And, and the he, Christmas pageant is, is on, on one of them. Oh, my God. You have to find it. Well, I will. I will. But do you know how much a DVD player costs now? 100 bucks. Less. 30 bucks. $29. Like yeah. 30 bucks for <laughs> yeah. a DVD player. So get one. And yeah, it so I can... know. Amazon wish list Christmas. And I will find it. And I was I was in <clears throat> the Feliz Navidad number. Of course sure. you were. I was in a... <laughs> Sequin beret. Sequin beret. <laughs> Sequin beret. Sequin. When did your parents know that oh, you were gay? Just wait for it. Sequin vest. Sequin, um, like, like, <laughs> what are they called? Knickers? Like yeah, the, yeah, like yeah. the breeches. So, so they had, and you had they long socks, ankles, and white, long socks, long white socks, long white socks, and we had to shoes sing with Feliz, a buckle. <laughs> maybe fingers uh-huh, crossed. Okay. And had to sing Feliz Navidad, mm-hmm. and I am letting everyone have it. Oh like, yeah. All the other kids are like, Feliz Navidad. Yes. 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 And I was like, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Like letting everyone have it. To the point where I'm covering the girl next to me's oh, face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get so her out what of there. does she do? She grabs my dong what? and just starts squeezing no, it. No, no. To like, she's like, 
Is Get that out part of my of, face. Is that part of Christmas? I guess. I mean, she's just squeezing she's my squeezing. nuts, and I'm just like, ta -ta -ta -ta, like not even acknowledging. <laughs> Unfazed. No. Because to you, that means nothing. Nothing at all. And it's, like, so it's not turning you on in any way. And also, you're like, this is my moment. This is my you moment. You cannot step, step in, in front, front of, of my moment. Yeah. No. And like, step it up, girl. Like, yeah. I don't even know where she Start is. Start learning some dance moves. Learn some choreography and, yeah. and stop sexually assaulting me. Well, the Christmas pageant, I mean, is a perfect place for sexual assault. Let's, let's <laughs> start there and work our way backwards. But uh, no, I... This isn't the nativity scene. <laughs> I'll put your None baby. of these men are wise. <laughs> I'll put your baby in a manger. <laughs> hey, I'll put that a baby in, in your, your manger. manger. That's right. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Christmas time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. And then the second one was, <laughs> it was like third grade and I was in the Hanukkah song. Oh yeah. Not good. Jewish. No. Right. I was in Texas. I don't, re I don't no even. No one knows. Why were they even knew. doing that? This I don't is, even know. It like, was inclusive, I'm right. sure. Sure. Gross. Maybe. And we had to sing a Hanukkah song. God. And I don't even remember what. I, I don't even think I knew what Hanukkah was. Sure. I was just like, another number? Hit it, you know? <laughs> and I remember the song. It was, Hanukkah, we can't wait. It's such fun to celebrate. Candles burn every night. See the sun, the leading light. Uh, yeah. Straight and tall like Judas Maccabee. Lights that stand for liberty. Wow. Something like that. And Whoa. I remember that. Never heard that song in my life. Really? Have I ever heard one. that song? It might have been written <laughs> for By, For the school. <laughs> right. Someone's like, you better do something about that other thing. All yeah. right, I'll write it. Give me an hour. Did they Mrs. Light Leibowitz <laughs> was like, I'm going to write a song. <laughs> Did they light cannons at the end and fire them Yeah, off? exactly. Yeah. So, uh, what a fun time. Amazing. Are you guys... Did you... Were y'all on the road recently? We were. We just got back from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, uh, hilarities! Have you ever done great that club? club? Wonderful, phenomenal club. club. I just got back from Colorado yesterday. Ooh, where were nice. you? I was in beautiful Colorado Springs. Nice. I know. Fair. Mm. Let's yeah, go. it was fun. Three, three, uh, three East Comedy Club, and I actually got to see the first snow. Oh of, yeah, in Colorado, Good. which was gorgeous, it's beautiful, beautiful. fluffy. I mean, White Christmassy, powder, yeah, and, then, um, and I, yeah, cocainey, <laughs> and I definitely just thought about like this. I love being like, I love what I can do with my job, just because it's like I'm watching the first snowfall in Colorado, mm -hmm. and I'm done. Back to LA, yes, I we go. We did it. Finished. We said that too. We said comedy takes us to places we maybe wouldn't go. I'm not. No offense to Cleveland. I like Cleveland. Yeah. We would probably would have been to Cleveland once or twice in our lives, but I don't know that we would come as often as we come because the club's great. Mm -hmm. And so we have restaurants that we know there and the club is wonderful and friends and fans come and see us every year there. And it's it's just a great time. Yeah, I mm -hmm. love that. I mean, not, uh, comedy last year took us to Alaska. Twice, oh, wow. Which was incredible. Never been before. Ooh, Amazing. It's cool. I it's bet. really cool. So Alaska, I mean, we've been everywhere. And yeah. so I... We try not to be on the road too much because you know our lives are back here and this is where we want to do the work that we do and whatnot. So our goal is not to be out on the road 52 weekends out of the year. But yeah. we so luckily we pick and choose the places we want to go and the cities we want to go to. And it's it's been great. I do love, I don't love traveling, but I love getting out getting there. there. Yeah. Getting there and actually being and then there getting home. fun. Yeah. Getting there, doing the gig and being mm -hmm. like, thank you for this experience. Yes. Well, Goodbye. Goodbye. Snow. Yes. Let's I get, get that. I get that. I, I did a, um, a tour of downtown in about 15 minutes and oh, then nice. uh, wound up with a mouthful of leaves and uh, there <laughs> was a just minute. a very aggressive wind <laughs> mm. and then the next day it started snowing and I was right. like immediately I'm like I'm going to be trapped here I know never I, getting out my flight <laughs> is going to be canceled and I made it it was oh. is Colorado Springs a little bible -y, isn't it it's a little you know what it's a little military it's a right. little bible -y, Air Force. but they're, they're cool yeah Air Force like my brother's a major in the Air Force so okay. I like opened with that I was wow. like my brother there's a major in the Air Force. And, and they're like, oh, okay, we'll give him a shot. Right, okay, fine. good. And good. then I looked at a lot of like women in the crowd and then like their boyfriends or husbands were very like, mm -mm. like, mm -hmm. and I had to say like, just to let you guys know, I know Theo Vaughn and Joe Rogan. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was he's like, all okay, right. Good. He's all right. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it's fine. We're going to have a good time. Good. Um, but yeah, the <laughs> town, the, the town was small. It was, it was an interesting experience. I'd never been to Colorado and. Oh, you've never been to Colorado? Colorado. Yeah. Oh, God, damn. I'm not a big skier. I'm not a winter sport. Great comedy though in Colorado. So, yeah, yeah, I know. I need to get to Denver. Fort. I need Denver's to get to Denver. Awesome. Denver comedy works Denver in the... looks like a cool, oh cool town. And then the comedy fort in Fort Collins, which is like an hour outside yeah. of Denver. 
amazing. David and I want to do the hiking. There's like some really cool yeah, hiking really and trails hiking. and stuff it's like beautiful. that. Beautiful, older yeah. baby. Yeah. Um, now I know uh, the holidays are here. Mm -hmm. Are you guys doing any holiday parties whatsoever? Like performing at any holiday parties? Are you performing no, at holiday no, 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 parties? No, no, no. Oh, so on. I'll go to some. Holiday. I'm going yeah. to a holiday party this upcoming Saturday, and I'm going as the. I'm growing my beard out as best I can to go as the gro the go the ghost the, the Grinch the ghost of Christmas present. What? Yeah. So what I'm a gonna, specific. Isn't that costume? great? So I is have that like, the like Renaissance Fair one that wears berries? <laughs> yes, I have a yeah. berry like <laughs> thing on my head, and I'm gonna wear that? a wig. I'm I gay. Know. I know amazing. Christmas Carol. Right. I played Ebenezer Scrooge twice. Wow. <laughs> and Jacob up. Marley. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Which nice. was Bob Marley's other son, Ziggy's brother? Yes, okay, exactly. Great. He was the one in chains. And I was like, these chains are giving drama. Like, I was like, <laughs> you oh, you want a clinkity clank? <laughs> I got this. Yeah. Does anyone want to whip these chains yeah. off of me? And you're like, wrong play. Wrong Bitch, wrong. I'm going to give you a warning, <laughs> Ebenezer. Yeah. Bitch, yeah. you got to watch out. How is there not a gay Christmas carol? There should be. <laughs> there should be a gay Christmas uh, carol. I uh, would watch that and love gay it. Gay Christmas carol needs to happen now. Exactly. There was a Divas Christmas Carol starring Vanessa Williams and Kathy Griffin. I oh kind God. of remember that. Yeah. So we wrote for Kathy Griffin on the Divas live, live and like where she went and did it at and hosted it for the for VH1 mm -hmm. at down in San Diego at like a at fo Fort uh, Bragg or whatever yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, down yeah. there. Down so in it was in front of 20,000 military people. And like, I mean, we wrote a sketch for Katy Perry to do with her in front. I mean, we're writing like like Nicki Minaj made Katy Perry cry backstage. Uh, and like, how did that happen? So it was easily, easily, it was crazy. And then like Anne and Nancy Wilson from Heart were back there. So Nicki Minaj watching this, yeah, yeah, probably eat at Nicki, the buffet. Yeah, they Nicki, were amazing. Nicki Minaj made her cry, and then and by the way, wait, Katie, Nicki Minaj made Katy Perry cry. Yes. yes. How did this happen? So. What was it I about? I think it was about like rehearsal time or whatever. Uh -huh. And like, she just, I, I mean, think Katy Perry just like showed up and was like, I'm Katy Perry. So I'll just, and this was at the height of Katy Perry. Yeah. So, or she was on her ascension. So, Firework. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so I think she thought I show up and, I, and when I show up, that's when I do it. And she may have been in Nicki Minaj's time, time slot. slot. And then Nicki maybe was either was late or came early and wasn't ready or something. And then there was a conflict. It definitely, it Nikki, did need to make somebody cry. And also, Nicki Minaj could have just been like, "Go ahead and do your thing, and then I'll go do my but thing." She but she felt feathers felt were ruffled, ruffled, and she got mad. And then Katie, who was so nice to us when we wrote this sketch, like could not have been nicer and could not have been cooler. We like rehearsed with her, and she was great with Kathy, super sweet. And then Nicki Minaj was like, "I'm a huge fan of you guys." We're like, "We're on your side." I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> right side. I kind of was Katie's fault. I kind of you know. was Katie's fault. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm being honest. I mean, and then Hart was in the back, just like. <laughs> So Ann and Nancy Come Wilson. Come go were, crazy uh, on you. They uh, were, and they sounded so good. Oh my and they God. Were, and it was so funny. We wrote jokes that we knew would just die in front of a military audience. What is, kid. we called uh, Bristol Palin. She made a Bristol Palin joke. We called her the White Precious. The movie Precious had just come oh. out. And we're like. And we literally wrote in, in the, the teleprompter. Oh, do we said the white me all you want. You know that's so, like we we had that ahead of time. We had uh, Kathy like in the script react to how much they weren't going to like the joke, and you were like boo included. Yes, yes yeah. boo, boo me boo, all you want. Pause for booze. You know I'm and right. Pause for, for boo. You know, you know I'm, I'm right. right. And then and, and it Kathy worked. killed it. She oh, was so oh funny God, and she was so, so good. And I'm like, fun. how do you die? like for real? How did she have so much just like? Ease and comfort in front of twenty thousand people. Uh, we were. I've never seen a servicemen. Like it was unbelievable. Amazing. Love, she's just that workhorse. Pro, mm -hmm. She pro. just goes up like, okay. She's like, I got it. You can't make Kate. You can't make you know Kathy Griffin cry. No, you can't make she's Kathy amazing. Griffin cry. No, not no. absolutely she's not. Tough. This show is brought to you in part by BetterHelp. Guys, the holidays are here and they can be fun and joyous. And at the same time, they can also be very overwhelming with travel and kids and shopping and parties and just the onslaught of going and going and going. It can really take a beating on your mental health. And that is why 
BetterHelp is there to give you one-on-one communication, especially not only during the holiday season, but throughout the rest of the year. Um, Sometimes you just want to talk to somebody. You want to let off some steam and actually have a person on the other end to help you talk things through. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It is designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your busy schedule. We know you're all busy. So you just fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional fee. So make your brain your friend, not only during the holidays, but for the rest of 2024 with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N, today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N. Trust me, guys, your brain will thank you. Do you know what a great gift this holiday season is? The gift of a new language. And that is why this podcast is brought to you in part by Babbel. Why Babbel? Because it works. Why spend all this money on a private tutor when you can have an app that's downloadable that can help you learn a new language that you've always wanted? I personally, as someone who went to Montreal, Canada this summer, um, I wanted to pick up French. I took French in college and I loved it. But then, you know, as the years went by, I gradually forgot it. So with Babbel, they helped me actually get my French back on point. Everything looked familiar. It was fun. It's easy. It teaches you the essentials, how to just basic communicate with somebody, a merchant, how to order food, how to get directions, all of the necessities in the language that you want to learn. And studies from top universities say that using Babbel for 15 hours is the equivalent of taking a full semester in school. So there you go. And it's fun and easy. It's almost like playing a game. And when you get the answer right, you hear this. It's that easy. So here's a special limited deal for our listeners to get you started right now. You get, wait for it, 55% off your Babbel subscription. That's five, five, 55% off, but only for our listeners, our Just Sayers, you guys are the best. And go to babbel.com slash just saying. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash just saying, spelled B A B B E L dot com slash just saying, J U S T S A Y I N. Rules and restrictions may apply. So Christmas parties are here. I have. Do you have some? You have some. I have. I have a lot. I, we have a bunch. The sixteenth like is like the but, weekend okay. that everyone's having. I have. When like is the store? The stores is happening at some point in time. Where I know that's like coming up. So we have the stores. Thirteenth, I think. Is have the you stores. been to the stores Christmas party? No. No. Okay. Do you do know you what's included? Perform? No. You have to perform. something that you like. Okay. Good. Food. Food. <laughs> Food. Uh huh. Oh, Karaoke. Oh. oh hell yes. yes. I mean, They're, I don't know, but like. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like, karaoke. And you I mean, guys love karaoke. I do love karaoke. I love the goddamn comedy jam. I love karaoke. You know I uh-huh. love this thing. It's uh-huh. fun. Yeah. And I mean, it's like, and the more you do karaoke, that's the thing about karaoke. The more you do it, the more you You find your song. You have like- Do you have what is, I was going to oh, ask you, what is have, what is your song? I got, do you, got, and you do it together, right? We have we have songs together and, and then individual, individual songs. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We have some songs together. I mean, like, we'll do Plush by Stone Temple Pilots. Good. And, Higher by Creed, so much fun to do. Hold my hand, Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah. Uh, Under the Bridge, fantastic. Because they're like jokes we like put in as you're doing it. You make them funny. You make the things as funny as you can, you know? Prince Raspberry Beret is always a fun one. That's a me one. I do Gregory Abbott Shake You Down, which is a song from like 19... I'm going to get it. I'm going to look it up. So I just I realized just something. for you. At this very moment, there's a playlist called Mom Jeans that I love. <laughs> you guys need to put together Dad Jeans. Yes! Or no, we'll do Dad Shorts. Dad Shorts. <laughs> dad, dad Shorts. Dad Shorts. Dad, dad, dad Shorts. And you guys create a playlist of like the best dad music oh, of all time. Because oh, like Mom yes. Jeans is like like Wilson, Wilson Phillips. Phillips. You've got, you know, um, God, what else is there? There. Um, Terrence Trent to Arby. Oh my God. Bum, dun, dun, wish and well, well, kiss and tell. Yeah. Oh, wish and well, yes. about about her. So we can go somewhere and like we know you we don't do have good voice. No, and we can kind of we can come from low mm-hmm. and kind of hang in a song if we want. But like, uh, there's a bare naked lady song that I love. Sure, Chickity uh, China, the Chinese not that chicken. One. Oh. Not that one. What's the one we love? Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson's a great off one. of Gordon, their first album. Great album. Carney's dad. Brian Wilson? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, From Brian the Wilson. Beach Boys. Yeah, but they, okay, so this is my jam. You have go- to get to the middle of it. 
I mean, this is 87. Oh, baby. I'm going to turn the lights down low. It's so good. Yeah. Because he doesn't get that low. Although, this guy's got like eight sets of satin yeah, sheets. Yeah. <laughs> Please let this be a Christmas so, song. It's oh, so Christmas. It's not. It's not a shit. I've been watching oh, you. Yes. Yeah, you know it. You know this. I'm so far across the floor now, baby. I'm so far across the floor? Yeah. yeah. That's that nothing mean? new. You don't know what it means. So many times before now, baby. Is that stalkery or weird? Yeah, like, don't that admit that. In your eyes. Yeah, he's watching her and he's far across the yeah. floor. And what it's telling me. So now he's interpreting. And you know Let me mansplain what your look sure. means oh, to me. Girl, then I'm not shy. <laughs> Yeah. I'm glad you picked up on my telepathy now, baby. Well, she may you not know have. you did. All right, I'm sorry. I fucked And girl, I want to wow. shake you down. Like when I hear shake you yeah. down. I mean. Thank you. Shake you I want to rock you, girl. I want to rock you. I want to so shake then, you down. And then, and the end of the end of, so in the middle, he starts talking. He's like, girl, yeah, I, it's so funny. It's so I, I want to be near you. I want to reach out and touch it. It's bizarre. And then he starts going into nursery rhymes at the end, which is <gasps> my favorite. What do you mean? Eeny, meeny, miny, no. moe. Come on, girl, let's, let's start the show. Roses are red and violets no. are blue. I'm going to rock this world for you. And then we did our own. I'll write my own. Jack and Jill went up the hill. <laughs> she took the morning after pill. <laughs> So we like write our own. It's eat a peanut pumpkin eater. Had a wife but wouldn't eat a. <laughs> so just DJ Khaled, pretty much. <laughs> kind of. I mean, uh, it's, and it's really fun. If you can fun, find so, jokes within the songs, yeah. then, and then it doesn't just, matter how you sound. Then, and you so, guys are going to get a call. He's going to be like, I'm coming back, guys. Uh, I, I need some rhymes. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> we'll give them all, all day long. That would be the all best. But so day. the point is, we know how to perform. We all know how to get up and grab a microphone and, and get an audience. So, and we're not like, we have no delusions that our voices are good, but it right. is. So if we can but be we can in a hang. Pot, we can, can hang, hang enough in a song that it's not, that so, it's fun. If you have and you're presence, not taking it so seriously. Yeah, right. But and if you have a presence and you can project, you, you don't have to be 100% on key to make a karaoke mm -hmm. song fun. If you have a great voice, like we we were in the so middle like age dad jam band show mm -hmm. and James Mar Marsden gets up there he's and I'm like, great voice. you should be a singer. Well, but like, he is. He's, he's sung in Trolls or whatever I, he was he's in, but he's just fantastic. amazing. fantastic. And I'm like, that's just pure talent. We yeah. don't have that. But you can't be too good in karaoke because yeah. if you're too good, then, then everyone people are like, hates you. Or you're like, you should have had a singing career. Why don't you have a singing career? Yeah. This is bad. This yeah. is weird. No one's spinning a chair around to be like, I want you on my team. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the guy who shows up at like a Lakers game wearing just the jersey, mm -hmm. no shirt underneath. Like he thinks that if everybody on the Lakers gets injured, people are going to look up in the crowd and be like, oh, who's that Who's that guy who just works out his upper body? Yeah. Get him down Get him here. Down down here. Pretzel, sir. Come we need down. you. We need you. A hero must arise. Like, yeah. Right. I can imagine you have the finale. What are, what are your, give me your top three. I go to a thing, go to songs. I don't know anybody here. I mean, I'm going to go. Freedom 90. Oh, I mean, incredible. Uh, um, incredible. Yeah. Macy Gray, I Try. Ooh, Ooh that's so good. fun. That's great. Because I sing it as Macy Gray. And one time that's I was here at the store and Macy good. Gray was in the crowd. Shut up. I looked at Macy Gray and I said, are you Macy Gray? And she says, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I go, this stops everything. And Stop I it. led the whole OR in I Try right. with Macy Gray in the audience. It was one of my favorite Did moments ever. Did she freaking love she it? Loved it? She loved it. She loved it. it. She she has did she try to walk away and then crumble? <laughs> well, she did after my set. <laughs> she did. She did. She did after my set. She was like, I'm ruined. Um, so freedom, I try. And then probably, at, uh, la, 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 probably... You know what I do love? What? Let's the say Devil it. Went Down to Georgia. It's a great, great one. Song. That's a great song. I love, so we you know did, we used to do a bit? Did right. you? So we used to do a bit in our act. It came up as a bonus track on our, like, I don't know, uh, our CD. Three or four albums ago, Sklar <laughs> Maps, where we recorded the, like, dun, 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 yeah. like, as, like, once you get in the song, because it's just kind of like talking in the middle, right? Yeah. 
So we just recorded a bunch of those and then we wrote, we spaced them out on uh -huh. like a track. And then we said, you know, the devil went down to Georgia several Lots times. Lots of times. Yeah. People don't know this. It wasn't always as confrontational as the time that you guys know. So we actually got an early copy of a one of the- another time when the, the devil, devil went, went down, down to, to Georgia. Georgia. It wasn't oh, so confrontational. And it's an literally- An origin story. No, so he goes down to the devil, goes down to Georgia. He checks into like a double tree <laughs> hotel. <laughs> like difficult time checking in. And then he's like complaining about people making noise <laughs> down the hall. Oh, that's And the good. hotel manager is upset with him. And so that right as you get to certain points and they're talking, it's like- Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. So that was really fun. And then too. I'll get, you know, I'll go a little ballad -y. I'll do Desiree. You know, you Ooh. gotta be bad. So my you wife does be... that song See, and it's such a good, it's, it's a such a good a song for people because people be. love that song. Yeah. I was going to suggest that it's to you. It's such a good one. But yeah. at the Christmas party a couple years ago here at the store, I was doing, I think, that song and one of the waitresses was dressed like an elf and she was drunk and she started like, chiming in. I was like, get! Like, I was like, no, I'm very territorial about my you don't get, Can I tell you this story? Yeah. You'll love this. So this is like, we find our friends the way we find our friends. Mm -hmm. And like, like we've said multiple times to you off air and on this podcast, even that like, we knew we would be close with you just because we have this energy. <laughs> same about instincts. Us. Yeah. Same, same instincts. instincts. Same energy. We love you. I know you feel the same way <laughs> nice. about us. Yes, that is this connection. Okay. So I was, I was at Burning Man and I was at our friends like karaoke, like I was at this karaoke thing and I just met, meanwhile, our friends who are here, who are wonderful, who are having the Dickens Christmas party that I'm going to be the ghost of Christmas present. Mm -hmm. It's a Dickens party. I mm -hmm. forgot to say that, you know, that I- Yeah, lead with that next sorry. time. You're it's like, I'm going to dress up like the no. second ghost. What? <laughs> so, it's a Dickens party. So everyone's coming as Dickens okay. characters. I'm coming as Who the ghost. Who am I going to stick my Dickens? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the theme of the I party. just took the steak I'm for chicken. I'm not so tiny, Tim. Who am I going to stick my Dickens? <laughs> so <laughs> Steak for chicken, anyone? So I, I know. So I, those people- People worked in an office like group with my wife is in the same little kind of office shared office area. And they were like, when you guys go to Burning Man, because they went every year, they said, go find our friend. You'll find our friends there. And we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll right. find your friends in 70,000 people. No way. So we go. And of course, like the first night we see this like really fun karaoke tent that's like phenomenal. And we go in and we're singing and we're high as shit and we're having the best time and all night drugs that get you going all night and we are literally having the best time and I meet this person who is now like one of our best friends our friend Eva she is the coolest and so nice so she was running the karaoke thing and she had a little bell like a ding bell that <gasps> she would ding whenever anyone would do something really good high degree of difficulty high degree yeah. of difficulty ding like something good happens in a song woo 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 Bing! Like the bell became like it's a like the snap. It's, it's a, a hilarious, snap. almost like a snap, or even punctuation. A flavor, like, flavor. Mm, yeah, boy. It, it, DJ Khaled, another one. It's like it's the it's the Christmas. Uh, uh, meow, 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 meow. Thank you. Yes, yeah. Thank you. The exclamation point onto any mm -hmm. good thing that happens. Right. Mm -hmm. And so and so she was doing that. It was so funny. So I was singing uh, Hall and Oates. Uh, I can't go for that. No, can do. R. I. P. All right, the two of them. I mean, like, talk about some legal problems. So, Daryl Hall. Daryl Hall. So I, uh, so I'm doing this song, and all of a sudden, like, this German guy comes up unasked, picks up uninvited, a, uninvited, oh. and picks up a mic and starts doing backup to me, which I did not ask for. Absolutely not. And my friend Eva, who I had just become friends with, and I had just fallen in love that this person is like such a wonderful person. She sees me give this guy a look of like, what the fuck are yeah. you doing? And it's just the look. I was like, kind of like, as I'm singing, I'm like, what the fuck? She saw me give the guy the look, ding the bell. Gave it a On ding. the look. I got a bell ding for my look. She dinged the bell when I gave this guy a look and I looked at her. I'm like, we're going to be friends forever. Yeah, exactly. We are going to be and friends forever. And she w did actually know their friends she did. LA. She knew Klaus. Yeah. <laughs> she knew Klaus. She knew our friends who were who throwing said, the, go, the, go when you go to Burning Man, go meet my friends. Right friends. Those were the people we were supposed to meet. I mean, that's the beauty of Burning Man. That's a whole other podcast and a whole other story. But, but did she give you the bell and then you, did you continue the look and the lyric came up? I can't go, go for, for that. that. No. No, no. And she's like, ding, ding no can do. Boom, double bell. And God. this guy yeah. off. See, but like, it. it's, you know, it's I like when it. the waitress came up you and started singing, you're respect like, respect the space. Nope. It's not about you. This is my moment. Yes. Uh -uh. It's a not on my watch moment. No, no. absolutely not. Well, Let's get into some stories. Let's we have it. some good ones I'm for ready. you. Okay, okay good. Uh, This one just came out this week. Okay. Uh, a 70-year-old woman gave birth to twins in Uganda. Yeah. 70-year-old woman. 
70 year old woman. Uh, it's being hailed as a miracle. Her name is Safina. Is it a miracle? Her, her, her breast mean, milk is expired. Yeah, it is. It is clotted. Her breast milk is powder. It's it's powder. It's yeah. yogurt. Powdered milk. <laughs> yogurt. She is. Uh, her name is Safina Namukwaya. Sure. Uh -huh. Described her joy at the arrival of the twins who were born on Wednesday at a medical facility in the Great capital idea. of Kampala, mm -hmm. uh, where she had received fertility treatment. Right. Oh, she wanted it. She wanted it. Um, she I mean, got, at that point, you take her uterus out and put it like bronze it and stick it in the front of the hospital. Her uterus literally is the mosquito in amber from <laughs> Jurassic Park. That's literally what it is. Just put it down in a block. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's crowning. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> They're crowning. They're crowning. Welcome to Geriatric <laughs> Park. <laughs> uh, so she used a donor egg and her partner's sperm for the in vitro fertilization. Okay. So to me, I would be cool with this if this was a mistake. All okay. right. If this was like, look, like, we, if we, it was we were not in boots, he's 69, I'm 70. No we pun were intended. 69 ing. <laughs> Whatever happened. Then we turned it around. We made something happen. I yeah. didn't think I could get pregnant. I didn't think I was going to get pregnant. Then I was like, I'm going to go with it. But this woman is like, we're going to try. Yeah, we're going to try. I, I mean, uh, if it was a her. dare, if maybe she's on like Uganda jackass or something, right, like, and she's like, today we're going to get pregnant. <laughs> you know, I'm what's 70. Her, what's her name again? Her name, I'm so glad you asked. Satina it is Safina Namakwaya. 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 Hey, don't tell Samina she can't have twins. No. no. And Ugh. then someone went and she did had it. Them. Like, oh, God. Going to tell me I can't have twins. Gonna is what she me. said to someone else as they were walking around. Going to tell me. Yeah. And I, they actually have a picture of the babies who were born prematurely at 31 weeks. I wish they were like, like born as 31 year old men. Yeah. Oh, I would, they, they just, just walked out. Walked no, out. it's actually the two little mummified aliens that they found in Mexico. Yes, right, that yes. they brought to the thing, the mummified aliens that looked like E.T. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> you want to be happy. I'm ha like, good for you. Oh my you. God. As parents of yeah. babies, like, and of twin, like you, there is no, there's no way she can, there's no handle. way she's going to handle she's gonna, this. You're not going to be a good parent. I, I, they say you're, it takes you, a village. It's going to take like several villages. It's her whole village kids. in Uganda taking care of these kids. Taking care of these kids. So basically what you did is you brought two people in the world who are going to be someone else's responsibility. That's right. Oh, way to go. I mean, way to go. That's it. But you're not going to be able to take care of these kids. Are you saying, I'm you saying, what? enjoy yourself. You have. You I, made it I say to you the can end do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, ma'am. Just in. But what you're doing right now is making the next like 18 years of your life, and I hope you live to be 90. I really do. What's you're 18? That's what 88. So yeah, I like 88. It, and yeah. You're making the next 20 years of your life like absolutely terrible. She's 83. Terrible. Yeah. She's gonna start to get like. Teen flack. Oh my god! Like from two kids, two kids, two kids. Like fuck you, mom. Yeah, yeah you don't Whatever, understand, you me. old lady. Your voice is so dumb. Oh my god! Uh, Why don't your bones just break? Uh, she dummy. looks great though, as a seventy-year-old. Oh, she does look great, but she does look great. She looks like every parent who's thirty-five and has little kids right now. Yeah, no, that's what happens. And she, and she hasn't even parented them yet. I know. God, you're in trouble. You're God in bless trouble. her. God, is... God bless her. Good for Maybe her. Maybe she can do it. Maybe she can do it and we can't. So Maybe she's better I, I, than we I, are. I just, I, I watch her like, good luck making friends with the new parents that you're like, the, oh, I the know. mommy and oh, me classes. Oh, yeah. They're like, it's grandparents day. Oh, yeah. Are you coming? She's like, I'm actually the parent. Yes. So that happened to our friend. Our friend's- Really? Our friend's dad, who is, our, our friend's husband, husband, who is- who is bald. Uh, and he's like, maybe like what, four or five years older than yeah, us? Yeah, he's not much older. not super old. It's like 15 years ago, 16 years ago. He, our friend used to bring the kids to the music together class with the other parents. And there was a song and it's the same song. Like they're in Brooklyn, we're here in LA, but it was the same dumb song. They always say hello to everybody and they say goodbye. Goodbye to the mommies. So glad to see you. Goodbye to the daddies. So glad to see you. He, she couldn't take the kids. So he, or he took the daughter for this one time. And the woman who was teaching the class to say goodbye to the mommy, so glad to see you. Goodbye to the daddy, so glad to see you. And looked right at him and said goodbye to the grandpa. Oh, so no. bad. He's like, bitch. I made this kid. I made it. I and did that. You can't I did that one night on stage. There was like maybe like two weeks ago, and she was like, I'm visiting my mom. And I was like, what? 
I was like, you're not the mom? And it was like, <laughs> I was like, I, it, like this woman did not look like a child. But then I was, was like, coming from inside the uterus. I, know, I was like, wait, what? And, it, and like Oof. one guy in the crowd caught it and he started like being like, oh, like he got it. And I was like, like oh, wait, oh, it, it, it. Ah! like it was you're crazy. Not, you're not the mom. Oh, this episode is brought to you in part by Green Chef. Guys, we know the holidays are here. There's going to be lots of food everywhere, but there's there's no reason why you can't start your clean eating healthy in 2024, and that's why I highly recommend Green Chef. They deliver a box right to your door. There are no uh, there is no artificial sugars, colors, uh, fructose corn syrup, uh, very limited sugar, and um, very healthy ingredients as well. There's a variety of recipes to choose from from everything. If you want to eat plant-based foods, you can do that. If you want to eat whole grain options, you can do that. Calorie smart. If you're looking to watch your weight in the new year, there is an option for you. Um, I personally got a box delivered to me, and I have to tell you guys, the food is impeccable. Delicious options. Things that I never thought that I could cook, but all the ingredients were there. It took me less than 25 minutes to cook this food, and I thought I was Ratatouille. Honestly, I highly recommend Green Chef. You guys are going to thank me, and they are giving an offer right now to our listeners. Go to greenchef.com slash 60 just saying and use 60 just saying to get 60, 60% off plus free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash 60 just saying and use code 60 just saying to get 60% plus free shipping. Great chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. You are welcome. From one, from two kids actually, to we're going to go kids. to two thousand children. That's right. Yeah. Nick Cannon says that he spends taking his kids to Disneyland every year. How much do you think he spends going to Disneyland every okay, year? So Disneyland is expensive, and I'm assuming Cannon's going to fast pass to everything. And he's going to fast pass it. Well, that's his penis. Too. Yeah, his yeah. <laughs> penis is on the fast yeah. pass. It just gets right in. His sperm is a, has a he fast has pass. someone from has like the, a concierge from the park. <laughs> yeah, like walk, just his, walk penis his penis into, into every yep. woman and out. Yeah. Uh, and so. Uh, I, he's going to fast pass Wait, it. wasn't Nick Cannon with Mariah Carey. Sure. Yes. All right. Sure. <laughs> As we're talking about holidays. All yes. I, for all I want for Christmas. I mean, right? just pick a, pick a person. And Can we yep. just talk for a second about how Cher has put out a Christmas song yeah. and she's mad about everything now. She Cher, should be. Cher is upset about everything. She's like, I saw that she was mad the other day because the her boyfriend had texted her too many S's in the yes, queen, that he sent her. Like, or yes. Like, are you go bait too many Wait whys? A in, Wait too a ma minute. Too many whys in the baby no. text that no, he no, sent no, her. No, 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 guys. That's my baby. Yes, baby. And she got mad at him. She got, look. Land? She, you can't treat your boyfriend like Madonna. No. Cher. No. You cannot. Cher's boyfriend's gay. Yes. Is he? Yes. Okay. No straight guy is texting yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, to yeah. their girlfriend. I know. Well, whatever. I well, mean, good at this for point, him. Who's her boyfriend? The Golden it, Bachelor? I don't, I don't watch know. that show. No, I, I did watch, watch no the Golden Bachelor. That. So uh, I only just watched the finale and I knew nothing about it. It was like being it's like being dropped into another country that you don't speak the language. Golden right Bachelor? Yeah. 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 I don't care. No idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but so. weirdly enough, she's pregnant with twins. Hey! Yeah. Share. It's all possible. Yes, it is. If she could turn. Turn oh, back time. Good for her. Uh, <laughs> if she could fire up her uterus. <laughs> uh, he, Nick Cannon has says that he spends. Okay, so I think uh, he spends. So he's got like 14 kids. Sure. And he's got, and he probably has a nanny and another person helping out that he's got to buy those tickets I'd say it's $10,000. 10000 I think it's like twenty thousand. Ten k. You're incorrect. Two hundred thousand dollars. What? <laughs> what yeah. They, what do they do? Walk says, them through the Matterhorn? Yeah. Wow, I don't yeah, understand. Exactly. Two hundred thousand dollars a year at Disney. Two hundred thousand dollars a year at Disney. I, I mean, mean, is he? I, I guess is he making he's trying enough? to populate the park. He is the mass singer. Well, right? it says it's between paying a chaperone, covering the hotels, uh, yeah. and you know the merch meals, alone, meals the merch and alone. merch, meals and merch. Yeah, it's a, it's so expensive. Like they just get you. That they just get you. It's a price. Okay, world I want to read this all. quote that he says. Disneyland is expensive already. Off top, like if you trying to stay in the hotel, it's not how it used to be. You got to make reservations. I'm like Mickey. Can you hook a mm -mm. N word up? Sure. Things I never thought someone would ask Mickey Mouse. Right. I know uh, you. You go to Goofy with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Mickey can. Oh, oh, Mickey's oh, like, oh, no, I can't. And Goofy's like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 man. Hey, 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 he Goofy. Says, can Mickey I... can say it. He is part black. Like, you, you look at it as a map. 
Goofy can't say it. Mm-hmm. You Did you know Goofy say. was a cow? Is he? Yeah. What? I thought he was a dog. a dog. We all thought he was a dog. He's, we were missed. Well, then species. Pluto can't talk, but Goofy, Goofy can, can talk. talk. And then one is a pet and one is, he's a cow. He's a cow the whole time. I, I didn't I'm know like, he was a cow. What cow? Is he on Ozempic? Like, I what's going he's on? like a very... Why is Clarabelle, like, full he's cow? really thin skinny And then cow. Goofy's just, like, some skinny cow the whole time. Skinny we thought cow. Goofy was a dog. Oh, God. Yeah. I didn't even know that. I don't I'm like learning it. something. I don't like it. I don't trust it. I don't trust the process. Uh, but yeah. So I, I understand, like, that is expensive. And I bet he belongs to, like, Club 33, which oh, is, like, yeah. that special place yeah. that he's eating yeah. there. He does. I mean, he doesn't want to eat in the... He's not going to eat in the public. He's not can eat he can't eat people. among people, <laughs> right? I mean, um, I mean, I guess Nick Cannon, the mass singer, is big, right? Mm-hmm. He's still the host of that, right? Yeah. So, like, I feel like he wouldn't be able to go out. People would just be like, oh, "Get over here!" But Nick. I feel like if I saw Nick Cannon out, out- you, but yeah. regular people would be like, "Get over here!" And yeah, 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 yeah. They'd freak out. They'd, I'd be more they'd excited wild to see Bree from selling Sunset. That's who right. Has a child with him. They're, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, since it is the holidays, guys, <laughs> this article came out that nearly 20% of workers cheat on their partners at office holiday parties. Oh, yeah. Who took that survey? God well, damn. I mean, it's kind of your time. It's ba- So the holiday, so the year, you have to be really- Buttoned up. Buttoned up, up. Conservative. And you've been holiday parties like Vegas. You're yeah. like, we're not going to talk about what happened at nope. the holiday party. We're going to go into the supply closet and we're going to go- Hook fix up. It, fix Act it, on it. all the things I'm going to put, put a baby in your manger, so to speak. Oh, uh, well, this- <laughs> There was a, uh, a a search engine that polled 1,158 American adults about infidelity in October and found yeah. that 35% of them had been enticed to betray on their partner at the office Christmas yeah, shindig, while 17 this. admitted to hooking up, 17% rather, admitted to hooking up with a party paramour. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think you're at the party. You're So remember when you were a kid and you'd go to school for like parent-teacher night or like an open house at school and you'd go to school when it was dark out and you'd be like, God, this place feels so different. It's, it's so like different. anything oh, can yeah. happen mm-hmm. here. And so like, I feel like that's the way people feel about work. You leave at a certain time and then you come back at night and you're like, wait a minute, we're having this party. I mean, if it's at work, it might be like- Drinking, a, it's all the alcohol. It's it's open bars. Open bar. Open bars will always be- Have you ever death. had to perform at a Christmas party? For a company? No. That man. Is... Wait, no, yes, I did. I did, okay. I did, I did it. Um, actually, it was me and Andrew Santino mm-hmm. and Brady Matthews. We mm-hmm. did a company Christmas party at uh Fred Siegel, and it was like the um the the business like hired us, and it was so weird and bizarre. Of course. Because then you're just but it was it was it was fun because they want to hook up with each other and your comedy and is we're stopping ruining that. it. You're they want to get that. fucked up and some of them like yeah. and there's always like one guy who like gets up out of his seat and goes out in the back mm-hmm. while you're on stage. Oh yeah, yeah. And then comes back and sits down and then you're like, oh, he has a full bottle of Maker's Mark. <laughs> right, right. Just a full and he bottle. Did, just did so much cocaine. Like and did so <laughs> much cocaine. You see it on his face. It's like you already work in a business. We don't want to hear the ten business ideas you now have. And as a performer. We want to roast him of and call him out, but that might make him lose his job oh, yeah. right. or lose his do- mind yeah. or, or throw the nuts on you. So, I mean, as someone who has been, I've been wild at a uh, Christmas party. I understand, sure. by the way, people like letting loose, having, having loose. fun. It's the only it. life we have. I mean, and it's. I'm going to say something. The big downfall about a Christmas party is not only the open bar, mm-hmm. it's the drinks, like the punch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If there's a punch or a nog, not, yeah. don't, don't touch don't it. Touch it. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Sugar. If you're my daughter, you I'd can say don't build touch. your own, That's right. then sure. But you got to know what's in it. Two pats of the old alcohol in yeah. the nog. And if then it's that's creamy it. with like cinnamon sticks in it, nope. don't Get away. Stay touch away. it. Don't Stay away. It. And I would say the same about Mariah Carey's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> If it's creamy, <laughs> it. stay the, the hell, hell away, away from, from it. it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, gang. Uh, <laughs> all right. All I okay. want for Christmas. Oh, speaking of Jane Fonda. Yep. Speaking of cream. Yeah. Has made out with younger men. And she has adamantly yeah. said this. She confessed why she only wants to date younger men. And by yeah. younger she means 20 years or younger than her you she, no 20, 20 years, years old or younger? younger well you got a two-year window and then yeah. that's and then and that's then right it's, it's like you can't say 20. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Do, I mean, that's you can't go or younger with twenty. <laughs> you can't dive into on, how, on golden pond. On golden pond, uh, could we? I would on die. golden shower. I would. That's die. what she wants. An on golden, an on golden on shower. shower. Right. On golden shower. On golden I, shower. I, I would die if there was like oh, if, if it's Jane Fonda and. Like, you know, Esther Pavitsky's like the decoy. Yeah. And it's oh like, I got God. some iced tea and lube. I'll be I right mean, back. You know, she wants a 20 year old yeah. or younger. But uh, she was brutally honest while explaining while she's not interested in dating anyone who is old enough to drink. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. The uh, Hollywood legends said she was basically retired from the bedroom during an appearance of Absolutely Not Podcast, which okay. came out last All month. Right. Okay. Fine. Uh, she says, I'm done. I'm over. I'm 86 years old. Even in the dark, I wouldn't want to be naked in front of anybody. Still uh, looks great. Oh, by this the way. was Heather McMahon's podcast. Okay, I good. love her. Great. Uh, Jane Fonda, who turns 86 on December 21st, says, and here's another thing. I'm ashamed to say this. If I were to take a lover, he'd have to be 20 because I don't like old skin. Now, I'm going to throw a monkey wrench into her, into Wait, her whole plan. <laughs> I'm going to throw a monkey wrench into her vagina. <laughs> Is into it her. 20 or no. younger? No, what if it was a guy who had just, Benjamin Button's, Button's disease and he's 20, but he looks like he's 90. Or he's, heading back. he's really 90, but he looks, looks like, like he's 20. 20. Yeah. So now he's, he's got the new skin. He's a contemporary. She of wants new skin. She doesn't want the old skin. On she, Golden Bachelor. <laughs> On yes. Golden Bachelor. She wants that. She wants new skin. Tighten it up. What if what if you found an 80-year-old who had just all this plastic surgery to stretch it on? Just out? tight and taut, fit. Yeah. Tight and taut. I'm sure there are people like that. I'm sure she could find so I bet she could find I someone. bet she could find a 60-year-old dude who'd be into it. Who's in good shape. I also think yeah. at 86, she's probably like, I don't want to have to lay down and talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. Like, she's probably like laying down I on my back. I don't want to do that. I think she'd probably be like, laying down on my back hurts. Yeah. <laughs> so she should take like a, a male escort. Yes. Like, just you could that. easily call an They'll escort. do that for you probably, right? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's, a, that's I mean- I Aren't feel there like celebrity she, escorts? She needs friends to tell her that. Though. Yes, like she doesn't. We're have, not the friends like, to be telling her. Lily that. Tomlin I doesn't would. have the hookups. Lily Tomlin she, knows of people, people. <laughs> but I feel Lily like Tomlin could get you a nineteen-year-old girl. She needs her gay friends right. who are yes. older. That's yes. right. To be like Jane. Don't talk about this. Well, we got we got you. By the way, I some, bet you could get, and you got to help me with this. But I bet you could get a really opportunistic 19 year old gay man to have sex with her just for the stories just for the i now have or this story bi. or yeah, bi. Yeah, yeah. bi yes everyone's bi you know everybody's just a, bi just get a just get a guy it's like oh yeah you got jane fonda you got jane fonda you're gonna go in there you're gonna go in just, there and you're gonna run it's gonna yeah. pay you a ton of money you're yeah. gonna you're gonna get so much money you probably will walk out with like a ming vase what's the thing <laughs> <laughs> or mink stole. Or make, what's, like get, the, what's the thing in the fireplace? Yeah, just like open her flute. Yeah, flute. <laughs> flute. flute. Yeah, open the open flute. The flute. Let, let, the dust, yeah, let, let the dust. Let the dust just go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let the dust then, come out. And, and then, then seduce her with some... Uh, you might have across to... Across the room, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Girl, I've been, been watching, watching you. you. I, got, I can do that song. Or you got to get in there into her <laughs> vagina with one of those things. Yeah, to, yeah. To, you know, those things to the, blow the, it out. The, 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 the log <laughs> log. It's that got thing an called? accordion on it. It's mm -hmm. called... Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> what's that to called? Blow, <laughs> to blow it up. <laughs> you just get in... Yeah. Like those embers, babe. Yeah. You fire it up, oh, it and up. then she. Mm, that, again, there's a word for that. Then put I another log it on, and put just, another, dude. Put another Yule. Get your Yule log in yeah, the fire, yes. buddy. Yeah. Yes. This is yes. what she wants. Jane, to do. I think that's. I. You know. I mean, it, to go from. Uh, you know. Saying that you love the Viet Cong all the way to mm -hmm. I love twenty year old twenty year old cock. I mean that's that's you did it. She's made the she's kind of come to a place where uh, to be able to say anything at age eighty six and have it be relevant to anyone who's not eighty six. Yeah, she she's in from from a woman who was in the movie nine to five. Now she's taken five to nine. Hey! You know what I mean? Hey! I think that's the real the real <laughs> winner there. She, by the way, she's been in a lot of movies with numbers in it. Nine to five, eighty for Brady. Oh yeah, she's kind of she's like numbered up. Maybe that's why I think she's in this Wasn't younger she guy, in eighty for Brady, because so she I, was kind of the like. I think, Gilf? She, I think she was in seven. She was the head in the box. Just kidding. <laughs> that's not true. Spoiler alert, guys. Spoiler. God alert. damn. But for a nineteen-year-old who is does have good skin, you could put your head in her, <laughs> her, her box. box. <laughs> 
Aber Seven Star. Star. In a box. <lacht> <lacht> Seven Star. <lacht> What's in the box? His head. He's 19. Oh, uh, right. well, this is when you know uh, the world's on fire. Kim Kardashian and Paula Pell, uh, Janine Brito comedy. They uh, Kim Kardashian got her own show mm -hmm. off of what she did on FX on uh, American Horror Story, yeah. or as I call it, uh, the Kardashians. On yeah, anyway. I was going to say that was not a reality right there. So yeah, yeah so they are, have teamed up. Uh, she has now got her own. What is it? It's a comedy. It's got Paula. If pa yeah, yeah, yeah. If Paula, Paula Pell, Pell is, is a great involved. writer exactly. and funny as hell. And funny yeah. as all get out. I love Paula Pell. Uh, the comedy package called The Fifth Wheel, starring Kim Kardashian, has sold to Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, they are giving her, uh, yeah, with her co-writers, Paula Pell and Janine Brito. Pell will produce with Kardashian. Sources tell Deadline, Kardashian has been very hands-on in the process to sell the female-driven comedy. Great. <gasps> Appearing at each meeting to deliver the pitch, and the studios are lining up to get in business with mm. Kardashian. Mm -hmm. Like, she's uh, a big name. She's oh, a comedy vet. She's a uh, comedy it's a, vet. It's a, uh, a female ensemble cast. Great. Uh, what's so unique about how this package came together was the speed of where, in many cases, it takes months, sometimes even years. Oh, we don't this understand was, that at all. Exactly. Oh, no. This was starting with Pell and Brito coming up with the idea and then pitching Kardashian almost immediately after the strike ended. That's, well, it affected us all. Right. It's brilliant of them to do that. It's yeah. like, go find the biggest piece of talent. And by talent, I mean that ass. Mm -hmm. uh, go find the biggest piece of talent and bring it in. And yeah. that's how you get something sold. That's how you get it made. Blows my mind. So with her being a producer, of course, mm -hmm. uh, in, it's including her branding and ad agency playing a part alongside Netflix, yep. whether yep. it be her Skims line or her other projects. Yep. She has shown her ability to get the most out of any product she's involved in. Mm-hmm. Oh man! So I just think the rich keep getting richer, and I really appreciate that. It's so cool. Although I am happy for Paula Pell, so I'm like I have, I a mi I have mixed feelings about it. I and know. So I'm like, does does Kim Kardashian deserve to have a comedy show? It's a no. comedy lawyer show. Oh, okay. Well, then so it's a scripted comedy. Wasn't lawyer. her father the guy who represented OJ? Yeah, and also comedy. she wanted to be a lawyer, so maybe this is the closest she'll ever get. That's right. I, I'm not a lawyer, but I play one on TV. Oh, man. She it's, should have to go to law school. I would. She did. Kim Kardashian went to law school? It was like mini law school. Okay, so it's like Phoenix, University yeah. of Phoenix. <laughs> I wish. She went to paralegal. Yeah, yeah she just kind of did a, school. she did. She took the mini bar. Oh, she took the mini bar. She That's took good. the mini bar test. Tiny yeah. opening. I love it. She's like, bottle. you guys, I failed it five times. You I, guys. What do you mean? I can just um, imagine her opening statements, Kim Kardashian. You, you guys. guys. You guys. Uh, all right. right. Well, let's let's talk about the kids because they're offended about everything. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's a, there's a story that came out that this boy who's ten years old mm -hmm. calls called Apple that's, called Apple got in. Hello Apple. Hello Apple, hello, Apple. Hello, Apple uh -huh. to redesign an offensive emoji. And Does I want to look show, like him. It looked like him. Let's see. Let, warning distressing <laughs> content. content. So this little kid is from England. He's 10 years old and he's like, I got he's me so, an emoji. That's really so, offensive. He's so cute. Though. I know. Uh, he's look look adorable. And it is the emoji of a glasses wearing and look emoji at his, with buck teeth. This, it looks like this kid. It's so cute. It's I'd be, so cute. It's, and I'm so sad. He's campaigning against this horrible emoji. And I'm because like, why, why, why not draw more attention to you? Don't do it. You Who know cares? what? But I feel like he's this, probably gotten a lot of people being like, hey, is this you? Is this you? And like, hey, look who I see. It's do, the, do, do. He's the new hot dog girl. And by the way, <laughs> you know, I'm talking about that one girl after summer who they're like, did you hear about oh, Ashley yeah. with a hot dog? Yeah, yeah, he's like, like, I'm like, not a hot dog I'm not girl. The hot yeah. dog girl. So people Stop. are sending this kid emojis. But that's a great, here's the thing. You don't embrace want, the emoji. The, I love my glasses. Yeah. Yeah, but, but the truth is them. that kids at that age do not Suck. want to be singled out. They're the worst. Kids are the worst. They don't want to be singled out in any way, shape, or form. So the fact that anyone is calling attention to this, he's like, I gotta switch so schools. If he's smart, he says, Look, here's the deal. Number one, I'm gonna start getting wearing contacts. No. Number two, number two, I will allow you Botox. to keep using this emoji <laughs> if you give me just a little percentage. Just to take, give me a little oh, taste. Give me a little taste. Because then, you, then now he's going to hire, hire bodyguards. He can start having, they can start getting, he can have other kids beat up, yeah. which is really If fun. you can hire like an MMA fighter to come in and kick like a nine-year-old's ass. Just kick a nine-year-old's ass, ass, ass half. And then send him just bizarrely like. That emoji. The yeah, eggplant like, emoji. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Or he takes, he twists it, gets on Kelly Clarkson, there you gets go. on Sherry Shepard, sure. gets on all the daytime And when talks, I'm talking about the show, just get on them just physically. Just get on Climb them. on to these women. Yeah, and and be like, I mean, Ellen would have been great. She would have been like, here's $50,000 from Corn Flakes, you know? And this kid would have been set for life. He would have been set. And then oh, she would have done a dance to it. She I mean, there's way more offensive emojis. Yeah. Wait, I mean, what, I mean, I'm trying to think. I'm what, not even mad at the kid though I, I i i look this is his thing this is the thing he's gonna put i mean what if he becomes like the great british prosecutor and he just starts like prosecuting well, kim company. kardashian would be like get on my show get yeah. on my show that's you can, my role he's like wouldn't that be great in the Kardashian? i'm gonna pitch this out today you have a nine-year-old a ten-year-old lawyer yeah he's so smart he's Doogie like Doogie Hauser Hauser for law. Doogie Doogie Hauser. Hauser for law. why yeah. are we not pitching this why are we not he can't. This is the writer's room right now. We'll take Doogie that. Hauser Doogie Hauser Hauser Doogie Hauser for law. law. But Come yeah, on. look. So he's saying the redesigned emoji, which he affectionately called the genius emoji. There you go. That's smart. That's, That's smart. Good it job. features thin lenses, thin frames, and a small smiley face steering away from what he describes as horrible rabbit teeth. Okay. All right. Listen. No, 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 no. Don't he's make taking a twist. He's, so he would no. rather be referred to as a genius. That's right. No, he designed his own, he said. And it, he doesn't like the rabbit teeth. All right. Where, where's fine. his? There's That's his. No. Us. Get out of here, I like Ray. it. Get out. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Teddy. It that looks, looks like that shit. looks like the moon had a stroke. No, <laughs> this you are not an artist. You will never design emojis. It looks like the moon had a no. stroke and it has two breasts no. on its face. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bra around the of like a breasts bra of trying to hold two breasts. You or... called Apple, Teddy. Imagine if that was two breasts and a, and like a, a wayward belly vagina. Or a yeah, belly like button. A, no, that's uh, a wayward mouth. Like a stomach. He, someone it's had... actually Jane Fonda's elbow skin. <laughs> 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 she doesn't like that skin. She doesn't, she doesn't like, like it. She doesn't like that old I skin. Hate I hate old the old skin. skin. Oh, well, good luck, Teddy. Yeah, good luck, Here's buddy. to many more years of bullying ahead of you. Hey, now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> God, I mean, now you're that kid who complained exactly. to Apple. Exactly, he's send him to Gryffindor. God, hey, can I borrow your AirPods? Because Apple won't let me have any. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. nerd. Remember mm -hmm. when you took Apple down, son? <clears throat> yeah, remember that Christmas when you tried to take down Apple? Yeah. The one God. thing we all love, and in then our world. all of our AirPods got to be more expensive. Yeah, there needs Thanks to be a, a toilet paper tree emoji yeah. because that's what's his. Yard's gonna look like mm -hmm. from here on out. Do That's people right. still do that? By the way, no, I hope they don't. That was such a good time. Not after the pandemic. Um, this happened. Uh, we have a couple more stories. Okay. This is the new thing. I don't know if you guys saw this. It's called the Beam, mm. uh, the top of the Rock, which is the very top of Rockefeller Center. I saw it, in New York. Sit down on this. What is it like is a, a construction ride. beam? Yes. And it, Rises you up. I've seen it. And so it I think rises you I up. thought this was like a summertime replacement uh, game show because there's the floor, there's the room, there's the cell, <laughs> the and wall. the wall. There's the beam. Now there's the beam. There's now there's the, the beam. Countertop. Um, Beamy. That this is it. No. Are you strapped in? No. no. You're it looks sitting? like you're just sitting no. on. No. 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 Are you strapped in? You're strapped. Yes. You, you have are? to be strapped in. You have to be strapped. You have in. to. Oh, what? No, no thanks. thanks. No, this thank is like you. this is like New York Saddle Ranch. This, this is, is like oh this, is, this is right. They just this is this the New York alone. version of the mechanical bull. This guys, like this is why I don't have friends. Yeah, exactly. You what I'm doing. This is friend? this is Teddy. Years from now, is that after Alex after Jones complaining about the emoji? <laughs> this is like Alex Jones. He's yeah. Like I'm gonna end it. Nope, nope. No, no. You're still so up there. You're this still is in. top of the rock. Unveiled a brand new attraction. Why? On the 69th floor outdoor observation deck, in which guests seated on a steel girder get lifted yeah. into the open air and spun around to experience the unparalleled views of the Big Apple. Sit on this beam and get no, twirled around. No, it was basically I mean, that it, should be happening in the basement. Yeah, like fast enough. that's no, what that, <laughs> that's what uh, Jane Fonda's <laughs> Tinder profile <laughs> says. Sit on Sit on this beam, beam and wait and get when whipped around. in you around. No, but that there's the famous poster of the guys having lunch. 1932, lunch on, atop a skyscraper. That's right. right. And, they, and they're trying to recreate this. So you now are getting pulled up. Instead Although of having lunch, you lose your lunch. That would be a great excuse for Kristen Cavallari, who doesn't want to have sex on a first date. I can't get up on top of you. I'm afraid of heights. I, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, when the beam turned around, a 67-year-old tourist from Rome said, I was literally white-knuckling my grip. Mm -hmm. um, mm. uh, no, I, no. I, no. First of all, you weren't white-knuckling white your grip. No. Uh, first, you shouldn't be on there. Look, Look at, at this. this. Look at this. I mean, 
That's terrifying. Best, I mean, best lesbian couple I've ever seen. Really? I, like. I love them so much. Yeah, they know. They, they're, the but, indi- they're the indigo women. <laughs> <laughs> indigo gilfs. Yeah, this is... I, you know what? I don't Here's know. The thing. It looks I, cool. No. I can objectively say that it. This is cool that people are doing it. I think you're either gonna be completely underwhelmed by this or, or terrified, terrified beyond words. Mm-hmm. Right. I would be terrified so beyond. We words. went to the Sears Tower in, which is now called the Willis Tower, but in Chicago, Chicago yeah. and there is. They had uh, you could walk out oh, on the glass. The so edge. you're stepping on glass. So underneath you is nothing. That is, and you're a hundred stories up, and there's nothing underneath you. And we were doing a show for called the United Stats of America for the History Channel, and we recorded a whole like thing out on the ledge where you're standing there and nothing is below you. That is crazy. It's scary. That I feel like every scary. big monument. I know the Seattle, the the Space, the Space Needle, Needle has yeah, that. Yeah. There's the one in New York. It's like the edge. They do that. But I'm like, why does it, why do we need this? But how about, yeah, how about in Vegas? Like you can like do the roller coaster bo- that goes bungee off dumping, the, bungee uh, jumping, or you can like, oh, off the top uh, of off, the You thing. can walk around outside. You can walk around the needle outside where you're strapped in. It's so, this also, I don't know, I don't know if I'd be this. doing it while it was raining. Yeah. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like also, these, like, if the, if you wanted to unbuckle and just his dive old, off. He brought, he brought his old newsboy hat because he's like, honey, I'm going to look like, I'll go buy a, a, if they're smart, they'd sell like the little old lunch pails. Exactly. This is a sure. good place to have brunch yes. or like, like yeah. you know, get your thermos and pail. Where should we meet? On the beam? I mean, on the beam. The beam. This, to me, is still one of the most iconic pictures. Didn't we have Because it's so real. We had this picture in our New York apartment when we oh, first moved in there. 1994. How did people not think that we were gay? <laughs> uh, but I mean, how I still to this day have no idea how they get there how and they how get they get there. off. How exactly? I mean, I'm to me, I'm guessing liking, how they get off. But like, like, you really have to want to read the paper. You really to, know you're dying of smallpox. Like, <laughs> yeah. just to be like, you know what? Let's just. Let's you just really get, don't. I mean, I'm watching this right now and I'm getting nervous. Yes, I'm unsettled. So what if you're in the middle and you're like, oh, I man, gotta, I gotta pee. I gotta pee. So you gotta hold it. I don't know. It's New York. I guess you could pee off the. Yeah. All it, those boots on are golden cool, shower. Look those at are, that. I mean, it's cool still boots. to this day. I'm Every just single like pair baffled. Of boots. Like, who I'm, took this picture? Uh-huh. I mean, you know, how are, is this guy lighting a cigarette at the end? Like, what are the, what are they discussing? Like, it's what they're doing right now is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. And ever. there's not one ounce of fear in any of their no, eyes. This guy's, this guy's just drinking on the end. On the far right, he's got he a, has a, a alcohol, bottle of alcohol. He's got whiskey, a bottle yeah, of bullet. Here, let, let me mess with my balance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Teddy's like, the nerd emoji. It's yeah. like, get out of yeah, here, yeah. Teddy. Go right. on a beam. And Who shut says the we've gotten up? soft? Yeah. No kidding. Wow. I'll tell you, said we've gotten soft. Jane Fonda. Oh, yeah. No. Um, she doesn't like that. This soft is a skin. story that Land sent. It's a, uh, it's very interesting. I don't know if you guys heard of it. So, this is a story about a a three-year cruise mm-hmm. that was canceled for lack of a ship. Yeah, that's the first thing you need when you schedule a cruise mm-hmm. is the ship. The lack itself. of a ship. No, you need a ship. You get. You I mean, do a, a, I mean, maybe. I tell how good the drugs are, but I mean, you know, but all right, we've this, got a world. We just don't have a ship. But right. this is interesting because this was a uh, for months. Life at Sea Cruises has been signing up travelers, taking their money, and marketing the unusual offering which it. it announced in March. Life at Sea. Did you hear about no, this? No, but I just I, 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 I fully yeah. understand it. So, you, you want to spend your life at sea? Who do, who who's really upset with their life on land? Let's take it out to the sea. Some people. Mm-hmm. So this was promoting a cruise as of Monday. Described the ship, the L, the MV Lara, and promised mm-hmm. visits to the Great Wall of China, the Pyramids of Giza, Machu Picchu, and the Taj Mahal. Sure. Mm-hmm. Prospective passengers might pause before booking, though, when they see that the voyage was already supposed to set sail November yeah. first. So hey, we can't. We're having trouble with, you know, they're going to call him up. Get this kid from England to call him up. Get him, get that nerd on board. They may be more alarmed to learn that the ship, under its original name, the Ida Aura, was Mm -hmm. acquired in mid-November by Celestial Cruises, not by Life at Sea. Okay. The day after that sale, Life at Sea announced it was canceling its round-the-world voyage. But not giving any of the money back. Well, of course (laughs) not. You already paid for it. So the parent company of the cruise line said it could not afford the $40 million to $50 million that was being asked for the ship and said investors had dropped out because of the unrest. Rest in the middle. All right, let's not put this on the Jews, too. Okay, come on. I know we ruin everything, right? I'm sorry. Now we ruin your life at sea. You ruined my life at sea. (laughs) My life at sea. Uh, So, my so called life at sea. But what about my life at sea? Yeah, so. You've got your life here, but what about 
my I, life at sea. I wanted my life at sea. And uh, first of all, it's Ophelia's Fog hustled around the world in 80 days, which um, as someone who played mm. Phileas Fogg mm -hmm. in Around the World in 80 Days. How about it? Uh, that was a great play. Mm -hmm. uh, but this trip was expected to be leisurely, a Magellan-like time frame of three years. So it was supposed to set sail from Istanbul, then take the extended tour of the Western Hemisphere Been before arriving in Asia in August of 24. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. South Pacific and Australia would fill much of 2025, followed by India. Mm -hmm. In 2026, the cruise was to have visited Africa, then Europe before finishing in the late 20s. 26, three years after it began. Right. The cruise was charging between 38.5 to 98. $100,000 for three yeah, years. So that's, by person. the way, not a lot of money. I not mean, you still lot. have to pay for your rent unless you're like, we're not going to have a place. Yeah, we're going to yeah. leave our apartment. Exactly. And we're just going to live Two, at sea. 230000 was the minimum. Uh, Can't work, though, unless you can work. How are you doing your laundry? I mean, this is for there people. There has to be a laundry. Is there quarters? I don't know. Quarters? I don't so, yeah, know. they canceled this like weeks before. How much before. rowing do you have to do? <laughs> get those arms in get it in hey it is your crazy workout. I, I wouldn't want to mm. do a cruise like this no i, I wouldn't want to do we've been on a cruise before and this no. is like i can't i can't, can't. do well this is interesting it had a capacity of 1266 passengers with 80 percent of them expected to be booked wow less than half the cabins appear to be booked as of monday morning the cruise was initially delayed to november 11th then the 30th and its departure was changed to amsterdam you know it's it canceled on you know november it's, 17th when it's going to amsterdam that's when like let's see if we can get uh let's get this. They get someone high and give us a ship the passengers were promised repayment and monthly installments monthly installments no. i'm not taking that i want it all back they were just uh some of the passengers said they were dismayed by the cancellation after planning their next three years around it right yeah we, I sold my apartment. I sold my whole I gave everything away. college tuition away. I told my boss to fuck off. Yeah, exactly. At the Christmas party when I was, was making out with his right. wife. That's right. Right. Yeah. And I'll um, take your wife now and then I'll take my life at sea. <laughs> but also this sounds like um, Firefest at sea. Oh my mm. God. This is straight up Firefest. Yeah. Who do I have to blow to get a thing of water? Yeah. That's can I have a, 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 a craft single, please? That'd be great. <laughs> Just, I'm really hungry. Yeah. yeah. That's what they're giving away. Uh, so, uh, uh, you have done a cruise ship, you said. I, we, we've been on it. We've okay. never performed on a cruise ship. No, never. Never. But we believe. went on a cruise like with our parents like I've back in the day. On a ship. How oh, was that? Rough. Awful. Rough. You know why? Because you got to see everybody. Well, you have to see everybody. And then I went to like a nude beach mm -hmm. and like that was one of the stops. And all my friends who went with me, they were like naked and they were like, Justin, it's a nude beach. You have to take your pants off. And I was like, I am talent. Yes. yes. I don't have to take. I don't have to do shit. That's right. And <laughs> also the same night I performed on the cruise ship next door in the main theater, mm -hmm. I was in like the chuckle fuck lounge mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the main theater was. Barry Manilow. Patty LaPone. Patty LaPone. And everybody's watching Patty LaPone. That's where the gay people went. Oh, yeah. And God I was damn like. It. Hey guys, yeah, it was awful. So. Jerry, don't you hate it when you're performing in the Chuckle Hut and oh, Patty yeah. Lapone's thing? Yeah, you guys I, can and relate. We were in Greece, and I was just drunk on Uzo because I was like, "Fucking Patty Lapone's next door." By no the way, you got show. to perform on a cruise that went to Greece with your friends. That's enough. It was fun. And Patty Lapone, forget about it. Yeah, more Love like it. Patty Lapone. Am I right? Yeah. Jane Fonda. Office party. All right, guys, this was so much fun. So Thank fun. you for being here. Of um, course. Tell everyone where they can follow you, what dates you got going. So, Let them have it. Uh, we have a podcast called Dumb People Town. If you like this podcast, you will most definitely like that. Start yes. with Justin's episode. And oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right back up. I just recently did yours. You so were fun. Phenomenal. You're great. Uh, so we have that. We have a, uh, what else are we doing? We do live shows. We're going to be in Portland, Oregon uh, on January 4th for one night at Helium. The next night, we're going to be in Seattle at the Crocodile. And then, uh, uh, beginning of uh, February, we're in Denver at Comedy Works, Work. the South Club, which is amazing. And beginning of March, we're at uh, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in uh, Detroit. And the beginning of February, we're at uh, Minneapolis. Acme, Acme Work. Comedy Company in Minneapolis. Busy, busy this 2024. Supersclars.com is our thing. Yes. But, uh, Follow us. Yeah, come see us. Go see them. Honestly, guys, they're so, so good Thank on you. stage. So Thank funny you. and just really good dudes. Um, and make sure to like and subscribe, rate and review this podcast. Uh, go to the uh, Just Saying Podcast uh, Facebook group. We'd love to see you guys there. Also, check out the Patreon uh, as well, we'll be putting up uh, more clips and videos and more interaction it's for all of you so with our tiny hands. Old, tiny little we'll doll hands. We'll see you next time we'll here on the Just Saying Podcast. Bye. Bye.